Before we get into the yeah. really deep stuff, you guys both have backgrounds that are not in Pekiti Tertia. Um, would you mind just kind of sharing for people that are interested out there? Because Pekiti Tertia seems to be kind of a melting pot for people that come from different styles. It sucks you in. Um, where, did, where did you guys start? I don't know, whoever wants to go first. Uh, just prior to Pekiti Tertia Kali, I did study Capoeira Angola, which is basically an African-Brazilian art form it deals with a lot of agility, mobility. It also deals with baits, feints, and it's a cultural system. So, what 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 drew you do? You, what drew you from that into Pekiti Tershikali as opposed to other styles of, of martial arts? When I arts? first saw Pekiti, I saw a lot of the movements that reminded me of the agility, of the feints, of the footwork that's in Capoeira. The <clears> thing <throat> that was lacking in Capoeira, for me specifically, was the combative element. It's become more of a ritual and a cultural art. Whereas actually training it to survive and keep your family alive, I was, I, was, I was missing that from my spirit. And so Pekiti had a lot of those same elements, and it just went to the next level. Okay. And then, Rich, you said you started in, in JKD. Was that yeah. the first art you started with? No, sort of the very first art I started was Santo Kali back in uh, 1996. Um, and then I went on and got a black belt in uh, Jeet Kune Do. I uh, did Muay Thai, did some Jiu Jitsu, I did some Haganah, which is a re Israeli uh, military system. I uh, started doing some training Pikiti, uh, you know, with uh, Grand Tuan for a little bit. Uh, took a little hiatus and then um, started training with Ramel and then training with Tuan Ramel was where things started to kind of reveal where there was a lot of gaps. Um, so for my particular experience in, in with Inosanto Kali, and it could just be just because of that type of training. I learned a lot of drills, did not understand the purpose, uh, why I did it. It was just drills, you know, a lot of coordination. When I got to Ramel, uh, to Ramel, you know, the, the one thing he said to me, uh, if you don't know why you're doing something, you shouldn't do it. And that was the, kind of like the light bulb. Um, and then ever since then, you know, I've kind of been more on that journey, you know, with Pekiti Tersher. Um, and, you know, the one thing with Kali that I like is that it gives you the ability to express the art for you because how I fight is not going to be the same way as, you know, uh, Guru uh, Angola. Um, everyone has different attributes. And, and that's the one thing I like about the system is that it respects that everyone has different types of built and size and type of temperament and mentality. And as you train and you understand the principle and concept, you start to make it fit you, and then you have your own expression. Mm -hmm. So my expression of Kali or my sparring was going to be different from him because different background, different understanding, uh, things like that. So.